guys, what's up? It's Chelsea. So today I'm going to be doing a fall haul, my first haul ever actually, and first haul of the season. I'm so obsessed with fall. I live for fall, fall fashion, everything fall. I keep a year-round countdown on my phone. That's how obsessed I am. And it's actually the first official day of fall when I'm filming this, so that's pretty exciting. But anyway, this haul is very collective. I did not get it all in one trip, and I also will not be trying anything on just because I do plan on styling the majority of these pieces in an upcoming fall lookbook so if you're interested in seeing how anything looks on you want to keep a lookout for that video and I'll link it below once it's up but yeah I think I'm just gonna jump right into the haul so I'll start with the first thing in this haul that is not clothing which are these circle lens Ray-Bans and I got these in the tortoise shell frames with the gold hardware I'm really digging the circle trend lately. I have another pair of circle lens Ray-Bans, but I did not have a pair at all in my collection that are tortoise shell or have like a brown tint to them. So I thought it would be good to pick them up, not only for fall, but also just my collection. Next, I just have one thing from Topshop. I got a gift card for a graduation gift. So I decided to pick up this I think they call it a sleeveless duster coat, but I'd say it's more like a vest. It's a really pretty light gray color with zipper pockets on the sides. It's a little big, so I'm trying to figure out if I should just keep it and try and work with it or exchange it. I really like it, but yeah, I don't know what to do. The next things I got are two bralettes from Urban Outfitters. So the first one is just the ever so popular lace holter bralette, and I got it in the dark um, like charcoal gray color. I thought it was really unique and pretty and at the same time it matches with a lot. And then I also just got a basic triangle lace bralette and it's in this like really pretty burgundy color and I love this color for fall. Now moving on to Paxson, I just got three things. So the first thing is this open knit infinity scarf with fringe. It's kind of like a teal a light teal to dark teal ombre. I love scarves for the fall and my favorite are infinity scarves but I didn't have a lot of them so I actually got this on sale. It was during the summer so I can't wait to wear this. The next thing I got you might have seen if you watched my how I style a sporty trend video. So it's just kind of like a high-waisted mini skirt and it has silver zipper detailing on the sides which I really like and I love wearing skirts in the fall just with like thigh high socks or sheer tights and boots definitely a staple for me the next thing I have is this mock neck sweater tank and it's slightly cropped it's in this pretty like cranberry color and it's really thick and warm it's like a sweater material so definitely perfect for fall. I feel like this is just like a good basic. You can wear it with a lot of different things. So I'm glad that I picked this up. The next things I picked up are just some basics from Target. So first off, I got two loose fitting tees. So the first one that I got is just this black and white striped one. And it has a really similar cut to a Brandy Melville top that I have. And it actually feels just as soft. I'm so glad that I found this because it was only $15 which is way cheaper than Brandy, and I swear this is like an exact dupe. And the next one is just this burgundy v-neck. Again, it's very long and loose fitting, so it's great for leggings or just lazy days. And it has a little frocket. Where is it? <laughs> it has a little frocket on the side, if you can see that. Yeah, so I really like the fit of these. They lie really nicely, and I'm glad that I picked these up. The next things I picked up from Target were just some jeans. So they were having a 40% off denim sale not too long ago, which I thought was a really good deal. I think I got both pairs for like 18 or something like that, and they're actually really good quality. I was not aware of the quality of Target jeans. I've never bought them before until now. They're really thick, yet comfortable and like stretchy. So this first pair, I did not have um, a pair of jeans in this light wash color. They just have rips in the knees and on the thighs, and I like that the back pockets are plain and there's a little tear, so that's cute. And then the next pair is just your standard dark wash, no rips or anything, pockets are plain. 
So I'll definitely be getting plenty of wear out of these in the fall, fall and winter actually. Now moving on to the clothing that I'm most excited about. So one thing that you guys will learn about me if you continue to watch my videos is that I am a die-hard thrifter. I'm obsessed with thrifting. Stores like Goodwill and Salvation Army are like my all-time favorite stores to shop at. So I did pick up some things from both those stores. So I guess I'll start with Salvation Army because I only have three things from there. So the first thing I have is this 90s-esque looking sweater. And I love the striping along the neckline. It's very sporty looking and on trend at the moment. And I'm obsessed with the sporty trend. So this definitely caught my eye when I saw it. And the fit of this is awesome. It's very flattering and oversized, which I like. And I feel like you can just do a lot with this. So I'm glad that I picked this up. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you, I never thought that I would find at like a thrift store like Goodwill or Salvation Army, but I did. And they are easy jeans from American Apparel. They're just in this black acid wash um, color, which is good. I mean, they'll match with like, well, jeans match with these, but anyway. I got these for $2 because I got them on a half off day and I totally freaked out when I saw these. Actually, the first thing that happened was I went into shock and then I started freaking out because I was like, okay, these are American Apparel Easy Jeans, but the question is, are they my size? And they were my size. I actually was planning on buying a pair of these, but I kept on putting it off because I didn't want to pay the price. They're pretty expensive. I'm so excited that I found these and for two bucks, you can't beat that. The next thing I have is something that I found just last week and I'm still so in shock over this find. Probably just as excited as I was to find the American Apparel Easy Jeans. And that is this black and white houndstooth duster coat. It's pretty long so it's hard to fit in the full shot. It hits me about mid calf and it's like the perfect fit. I love the look of it. It just has like this velvet button detailing going down both of the sides and then these velvet lined pockets. It looks like something that you would get at like Topshop, except I paid like $4 for it. It doesn't get any better than that. And I'm so excited to style this for the fall. Definitely gonna be including this in my lookbook. The next things that I have to show you are actually the bulk of this haul, which are things from Goodwill. The first thing that I have is this light denim looking circle skirt. And I love that I found this because it's pretty much an exact dupe to the American Apparel circle skirt. This is just a good basic that I could see myself wearing year round, so I'm glad that I found this. Next thing I have is this brown faux leather jacket. It has this chic fur looking collar. Obviously not chic fur. I, I know there's a name for this type of furry material, but I don't remember what it's called. I've been wanting a jacket like this with this style of collar for a while. I was looking for one in like a jean jacket, but I actually like the look of the leather with it. And I think it will look great paired with the Ray-Ban sunglasses that I showed earlier. And the next thing that I have is just this beautiful sheer floral printed kimono. And I love the colors of it. It's like these crimson, like, actually it's kind of ombre. It's like ombre crimson colors. And they remind me of fall. I just love this so much. It kind of has like a high low look to it. So it's shorter in the front and then it tapers like longer in the back. I'm pretty sure that this was like handmade because it doesn't have a tag on it. And it just kind of looks like that. Not like it was made poorly or anything. It actually looks really good. It's cool that I found something that's like one of a kind because I've never seen a kimono like this. The next thing that I have is this brown tone like checkered mini dress. And this totally screams like Cher from Clueless to me. It's so 90s and just like the perfect dress for fall. It has like a very cozy look to it. So I could see this maybe worn with like some thigh high socks or some sheer tights, ankle boots. Totally can't wait to wear this. The next thing that I have is just another one of those good basics to have in your wardrobe and it is this polyester button down shirt. And I feel like this is just a good base for a lot of different looks and not to mention this camel color is super in for fall this year. Next thing I found at Goodwill is just this black, really soft scoop neck sweater. And I thought that this would just be a good basic to have for the fall. It makes a good layering piece and the comfort factor of this is just on point. Last but not least, I have this oversized denim jacket made vest. Um, I cut the sleeves off and distressed it myself, if you couldn't tell. 
I actually don't like the way it came out. It was my first time distressing like a bigger piece like this. And I definitely learned that less distressing is more. So that completes my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This will definitely not be my last fall haul of the season just because I have a slight shopping addiction. So definitely stay tuned for my fall lookbook. So yeah, I think I'll end on that note. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.